do you guys think we should have a theme song other than Furley's? Hey, now, don't try this at home. <laughs> don't try debating your friends at home. It will end in um, don't do bigger it brains. Don't do you might die. Sorry. I mean, I've been listening to this thing called the Disclaimer Song, and uh, we're not, uh, we're not, I'm, I'm not going to repeat the whole song. I yeah. just encourage you to go watch, no sponsorship, go watch the YouTube channel, Unis Honest. There you I'm going to tell people you, you show me the song. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So today our debate is gloves or mittens. I'm on the side of gloves. My name is Seth. Your name is? Kyle. And he's the judge. Wait, I thought you were on the side of mittens. What? Oh, sorry. I'm on the side of mittens. You're right. So he's Seth. He's yeah. on the side of mittens. You are? Ira, on the side of gloves. And I'm, they're superior. And I'm Kyle. I'm in the middle, and I'm looking up Kylo Ren lightsabers right now. <laughs> <laughs> you see, uh, if you didn't listen to the last uh, podcast, I don't remember exactly how this came about. But... I threatened to stab you with my lightsaber because you did a very bad pun. Yes, that was it. Uh, <laughs> and I reminded him... Even though he has his red lightsaber ready and on the go, I have the noble, the beautiful, green Luke Skywalker lightsaber. So, if he want to fight, he got to fight. And then Kyle realized that he wanted one. So why are you joining the dark side? Because um, if, I'm Ky- if I have the Kylo Ren lightsaber, I can just channel all that unquestioned and like hidden down deep rage inside of me <laughs> and I can just unleash my Use power. Use your anger. Use my <laughs> anger and then I can just, you know, um, kill the past and just let it die. I am surrounded by Sith Lords. And uh, <laughs> the best part is, the best part is, I can be in relation to Adam Driver somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as much as we all knew that Ira was going to try to take over the world, now we know that he's going to try to do it using the dark side of the Force from Star Wars. Now... We also know that he will be doing so, firing evil space lightning out of his gloves. And explain to me, Ira, why you think gloves are so much better. Because they're so much more practical. You're going to have to expound upon that. Explain well, yourself. Do explain, please. Well, you see, the nice thing with, with gloves is, is that they're just basically a nice little cloth covering over your fingers while you still have your fingers accessible to do stuff. Well, with mittens, four of your fingers, well, or I should say all your fingers, are encased into one gigantic little pouch. What, they're, they're just trapped there, screaming to be let free. And, there's, and you're just imprisoned in there. So, my first counter-argument there is you're saying they're imprisoned. I believe that they are drawing upon the power of the mighty lobster. You can't see it, but I'm clicking together my fake lobster claws. Like a lobster. Like a lobster. So. Rock lobster. You see, with gloves, each finger has its own protection and can be independent, strong, and able to work. All the, the mittens just make, make your fingers just huddle together in fear of the cold. <laughs> how, personifi- how much you're personifying fingers. I find that quite funny. Um, Except for the thumb. The thumb does its own thing. Yeah. So, here's my counter-argument. Usually, when I need to do anything that would involve my fingers, I actually have to take off my gloves. Usually, they do not actually add that much practicality. And because it takes longer to pull them off, I'd rather have mittens. I can just put them in my armpit, slip them off no problem. And then, once I'm done doing whatever I need to with my hands, I slip them back into the mittens. But what if the thing you're doing does not require that much precision in terms of having your actual fingers utilizing it, but requires enough precision that a mitten would be impractical? Especially if you're working outside. If you're working inside, why are you wearing gloves? Or just wear fingerless gloves? So what are these outdoor things where you would need enough dexterity to have them loose, but not so much dexterity you need your hands bare? I would say just shoveling. Like, I've tried shoveling with mittens compared to gloves, and gloves just have much... allow your hands to have much more versatility, especially when it comes to stretching your fingers around things, while mittens you're forced to kind of cup things and restrict them. 
So, in my experience, uh, shoveling, I've never had a problem with mittens, really. So, because we are in disagreement for the exact also same reasons door in this case. Opening door. Yeah, opening doors. That's one that I usually uh, just slip off the mitten for. So, Kyle, I, I'm wondering what your, what's your opinion on this particular well, grasping? W- w- what is your grasp of this issue? Well, I've always been a fan of gloves. Mainly for the fact that whenever I wear mittens, I can never really get my hand... I can't control what I grab, essentially. Like, I can't open a door. I can't... I mean, I can hold basically some stuff, but it's like I can't control it. And the mittens I... And and maybe, of course, the mittens I've used aren't, like, built to grip stuff, maybe. Mm -hmm. They've mostly just been built to, like, just keep my hands warm. Mm -hmm. But it's like, um, gloves, I have unrestricted means to just kind of, like use my opposable thumbs that I've been granted as a human and kind of, like, just be more dexterous. De- 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 you know dexterous. dexterous. Dexterous, thank you. I can't speak today. But, uh, yeah, um, the gloves, I just... Not only do they keep your fingers warm, but they allow your fingers more movement so you may work with your hands better. Mm-hmm. That's where I fall. But, I mean, mittens, they keep you warm. I mean, there's no doubt that they keep you warm, but I just don't think that there's much... I mean... Lobster hands. Yeah. Mr. Krabs. So when you think of a mitten, is it usually the same kind of cloth all the way around? Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm thinking like the mittens that you like put on when it's I mean, cold. I'd say most good mittens nowadays would have like, you know, the, your, your base cloth and then like for the gr- actual gripping areas, they'll put like something that'll help at least yeah. for that. But that's more used the to. loss of dis- dexterity is a big one when it comes to mittens, which is my main argument really against them. If I'm going out in the cold mm-hmm. to go hunting, I'm not taking a pair of mittens with me because I'm not going to be able to pull the trigger of my rifle. I never thought about the hunting example because you couldn't you couldn't have the mittens off for so long because that, that was my main argument. That is freeze. most things that I need, I, uh, I I could just slip off the mittens real easily. I didn't think yeah, about that. And when, yeah, when you're hunting, like sometimes you want to keep your fingers ready just in case you immediately see one. And mm-hmm. the time it takes for you to slip that mitten off and then get your hand into position might be too late. Right. Yeah. No, but no, of that's course. Fair. Yeah, it's fair. But of course, that's not everybody. So mm-hmm. there are some people who use mittens for mm-hmm. other things. I don't know why. <laughs> so maybe these are not, maybe this has to do with the kind of glove I usually wear. But I have found in general that mittens provide much more warmth and comfort because my fingers are free to move around within that larger pouch and the heat all stays in there. While even with the, even with the bulkier gloves, my fingers end up kind of separated and a, a good deal colder, colder than they would be in a mitten. Um, so I'd say for warmth, have you guys ever found that there's been any significant problems with warmth with gloves that uh, mittens make up for? Mittens probably end up being warmer in the long run. At the same time, though, you have pockets, yeah. which are nice little pouches of warmth in of themselves. Mm-hmm. So if you want, like, if you if you don't have very good pockets or, you know, for some reason want to keep your arms out for a necessary thing, perhaps use mittens, but otherwise I'd say gloves overall. Like you may have you may have loss of warmth initially, but you always have those pockets as backup just in case. Mm. Yeah, mittens have the advantage in warmth, I guess, because your fingers are together. So therefore, the heat kind of conducts across your finger better, and mm. they kind of like huddle to like almost huddle together for warmth. In the glove, they're just kind of on their own, and they're more at risk to just being cold. But it's like you have more mobility, so it's like risking heat for mobility. Yeah, but I am willing to do that. Yeah. So I was mostly not willing to do it because most of the things I thought about were like shoveling or walking my dog. However, I'm going to have to concede this argument. Ah, well, I know. The power of gloves. Well done, sir. Well done. (laughs) And my reason is because of a very specific incident, walking my dog over Christmas break. As I was walking him, I was uh, trying to carry the dog bags, right? Because he'd leave some, some, some cute little poodle droppings. Oh, those are fun, yeah. <laughs> Not quite the word I'd use, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> those are fun. Oh, uh, fun! <laughs> I know how that works with my dogs. 
Aren't they uh, Cocker Spaniels? Britney Spaniels. Britney Spaniels, okay. Yeah, I've yeah. seen pictures. Very cute. Mm -hmm. But same problem with the droppings, but please yeah. continue. <laughs> uh, and as I was walking with them, because I was holding the mittens, or I, because I was wearing the mittens, even though I did need them fairly well for warmth, it was very hard to... I had constantly had to check that the bags were still there. Mm -hmm. And I lost one. And after a long walk, and I was just ready to go upstairs and, you know, fall asleep. Maybe, maybe not that dramatic. I was more ready for a bowl of soup, really. I realized one of the bags had dropped off. I didn't know where. So I trekked back out into the snow to find it. Uh, which didn't take long, but it is this matter of... I didn't even notice it was gone. So right. maybe the dexterity is a bit more... Uh, the long-term dexterity uh, was quite a bit more valuable than the long-term long warmth. Uh, and considering none of us are living in Alaska, I might have... Yeah, especially the hunting example, too. Because now I know my anecdote's yeah. not a one-off. There's also an entire sport where it's extremely important to have that finger out. So, yeah. But yeah. it'd be good. It also could be for anybody who's playing snowballs. <laughs> yeah. Who wants to like I can't throw a snowball with mittens. I couldn't. With gloves I can. I, I can I mean I it's easier manage it okay. Well I'd say it's easier to form a snowball it's with easier mittens. Just, yeah, I, I just have and this is also coming for someone that's, who that's, played that's, baseball. that's when you did that's when you divvy up the jobs and have the snowball formers and right, the snowball throwers. Right, 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 right. <laughs> army army yeah. efficiency and logistics, yes. Luckily, however, we may not have to completely sacrifice it. So I before the debate Ira brought up that you have those things where it's a glove, but the there's like a mitten top part that can flip back, but you can put it over top for the extra warmth. And I said we probably shouldn't bring it up in the debate because that would be too easy. Everybody would vote for that. It's the perfect compromise. But now that I fall into the side of gloves, we can we can give our say to the noble gl gl glitten. W what are those called? I, I've absolutely no idea the hybrids i don't know yeah yeah the, the glove, glove hybrids uh, yes i will just say it'll work better for what we mentioned earlier with ira using sith lightning therefore you won't burn through the <laughs> <laughs> don't shoot out of my thumb there you go just like unlimited power <laughs> yes when ira becomes a super powerful uh supernatural dictator he will be able to fire lightning out of some fingerless gloves with the flip up mitten part and that will be a, a terrifying day for us all. And that was a big brain debate. That was actually one of our more academic, I feel like. I, I feel uh, like yeah, that was very really smart. Goofy. That was very smart, yeah. Yeah. I tried to bring it into insanity earlier on. I don't remember what I even said. It was like... Um, Lobsters. I mean, I, and I, I mean, Lobsters, yes. Lobsters. I mean, I, I went into weird territory by talking about, you know, the, the weakness and strengths of the fingers and, the, and their personality. <laughs> Stuff like that. Yeah. And through this whole debate, I'm still trying to find a Kylo Ren lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the internet. Oh, Online the internet. shopping can bring you so many toy weapons. For it's a pathway your... to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. <laughs> so anyway, let's all hope Ira doesn't completely uh, destroy us when he takes over the world, and yeah. have a good rest of your week. Just behave yourselves and you'll be fine. <laughs> Lord help us. <laughs>